Welcome to Creepy Stuff. Tonight we step back into the fog of East London to explore one of the city's most legendary and eerie landmarks, the Ten Bells Pub. This historic watering hole has stood since the 1700s, but it's not the ale or the friendly chatter that has left its mark. It's the ghosts, the whispers in the shadows and the spirits that refuse to leave. So grab a drink, if you dare, and let's dive into the haunted history of the Ten Bells pub. For over 250 years, the Ten Bells has been serving the thirsty of East London. Its walls have absorbed countless stories, some bright, many dark, and a few that still echo long after last call. This pub is notorious not only for its age, but for its sinister connection to one of history's most infamous criminals. Jack the Ripper. The Ten Bells stands at the corner of Commercial Street and Fournier Street, right in the heart of Whitechapel. It's here that the pub's most famous spectral tale begins, for it was in these very streets that the Ripper stalked his victims in 1888. The Ten Bells was frequented by two of the Ripper's victims, Annie Chapman and Mary Jane Kelly. Many believe their restless spirits still linger, drawn back to the last place they felt safe, or perhaps where they left something unfinished. Annie Chapman, one of the Ripper's tragic victims, was seen drinking at the Ten Bells the night before she was murdered. Since her death, there have been multiple sightings of her spirit. Witnesses describe seeing a ghostly figure of a woman dressed in shabby Victorian clothing, silently standing near the bar, staring out of the window with a look of sorrowful longing. One bartender, who worked a late shift back in the 1970s, reported that he saw Annie Chapman's spirit as he was closing up. He felt a sudden chill, a breath of cold air that shouldn't have been there. When he turned, he saw her. A frail figure with deep, sunken eyes. She said nothing, but looked as if she wanted to speak. He was frozen in place, but before he could muster the courage to speak, she disappeared as mysteriously as she'd appeared. After that, he quit his job. And yet, her spirit didn't disappear with him. She's still there. People say that when they pass by the bar, they can see her reflection in the glass, just out of the corner of their eye. But when they turn to look, she's gone. For decades, patrons and employees alike have reported hearing footsteps coming from upstairs, even when the pub is empty. These aren't ordinary footsteps, though. They're the slow dragging kind, as if someone or something is limping down the stairs. One former employee shared that he was cleaning up late one night when he heard these footsteps slowly descending the staircase behind him. At first, he thought it was a co-worker, but when he called out, there was no answer. As he turned, he saw the shadow of a man on the wall, a tall figure that slowly walked towards him. But when he looked up, no one was there. Just the echo of those dragging footsteps. He didn't finish his shift that night, and when he returned the next day, the pub's manager casually told him that strange things happen there all the time, especially at night. Some believe these footsteps belong to one of the Ripper's victims. Others say it could be the killer himself doomed to wander the place where he once stalked his prey. One of the most unsettling hauntings at the Ten Bells is known simply as the Woman in White. Described as a young, beautiful woman in a pale, tattered dress, her ghost is seen on particularly cold, foggy nights. Witnesses say she appears next to the entrance, as if waiting for someone. She'll beckon to passers-by, her face hidden beneath a lace veil, her hand reaching out as if asking for help. One evening, a group of friends leaving the pub claimed to have seen her. She seemed lost, almost pleading, but when one of the men went to touch her shoulder, his hand passed right through her, 
as if she were made of mist. He said her form melted into the fog, leaving only the cold chill of her presence in the air. To this day, patrons report seeing her, standing alone near the entrance, her face hidden, her hand extended. Every haunted place has its darkest corner, and at the ten bells, it's the cellar. This space, once used as storage, now holds a reputation as the most frightening spot in the entire pub. Bartenders, who have had to fetch supplies from the cellar, report a suffocating feeling of dread. Some even say they feel watched by something malevolent lurking in the shadows. In 2001, a new bartender, skeptical of ghost stories, was dared by his colleagues to spend the night in the cellar. He laughed it off, agreeing to the challenge. However, within an hour, he came scrambling up the stairs, pale and shaking. He claimed that the room had grown ice cold and it felt fingers close around his wrist. But when he tried to turn on the light, the bulb shattered and he heard a raspy whisper in his ear saying, Get out! He never went back to the cellar. In fact, he never worked another shift. The cellar remains a place few are willing to go alone. And those who do often return with stories of shadows, cold spots and whispers in the dark. One of the strangest, most haunting phenomena at the Ten Bells is the sound of phantom bells ringing. Late at night, especially around the anniversary of the Reaper murders, patrons have reported hearing the distinct, eerie sound of bells echoing through the pub. This isn't the sound of the doorbell or any nearby church, no. This is different. It's distant, otherworldly. Some say it's the pub itself, tolling a death knell for the souls who never found peace. Others believe it's a warning, a call from the past, a reminder of the terror that once gripped these streets and the spirits who still roam them, looking for justice or vengeance. The Ten Bells pub remains a beloved spot for Londoners and tourists alike, but for those who know its history, a pint here is more than a drink. It's a step back in time, a brush with the beyond. Perhaps the next time you're there, you'll feel a chill at your back or catch a glimpse of a face in the window. Or hear the haunting echo of bells tolling in the night. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe for more creepy content.